For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. In a significant contractual change, the United States Postal Service has decided to drop FedEx as its primary air cargo provider. Rival shipping giant United Parcel Service, or UPS, will be taking over after September. In a statement, FedEx said it was unable to reach mutually agreeable terms with the Postal Service. According to Reuters, USPS is the largest customer of FedEx Express, though it represented 4% of its annual revenue. The FedEx Pilots Union commented that the decision to part with the Postal Service diminishes FedEx's influence in the shipping industry. Embattled Shelby County Criminal Court Judge Melissa Boyd has indicated she would resign at the end of May But in just a few days, the state legislature will vote to remove her from office. Boyd is currently in jail after having her bond revoked for failing a drug test in a pending case against her. Though she has been suspended for drug use and was indicted in December for harassing a former campaign manager, she has still been collecting a salary of $17,000 per month. The Tennessee General Assembly is set to vote on her removal Thursday. A recent report examines how some rural Tennessee hospitals have managed to stay afloat despite financial challenges. Danielle Smith with the Tennessee News Service has more. The report includes interviews from staff at five different rural hospitals, which range in size from 25 to 125 beds. Judy Reutman with the Tennessee Health Care Campaign says some of the hospitals are drowning in uncompensated care. She explains that as part of the research, they did a comparison interview with a CEO from a rural hospital in Kentucky who expressed the importance of Medicaid expansion. Kentucky has expanded its Medicaid program and Tennessee has not. He said that's the key to our stability is actually having the funds coming in to treat these patients. And the CEOs uh, and others in Tennessee hospitals said that would make a huge difference to have that federal funding. Reutman adds the federal government is offering Tennessee a nine to one match. If Tennessee were to expand Medicaid, at least 330,000 people would gain access to coverage. I'm Danielle Smith, Tennessee News Service. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org.